Before we go on, uh, have you read the agreement? Yes, I Did have. Did you agree to all the annexes in it? Yes, I read the agreement, signed it, and I agree with everything. Great. Okay. Uh, do you need any explanation why we're doing this video or... Do you need an explanation about Sulia? You already did, and I do understand, and I know Sulia. Okay. Well, there I see that the relationship between what's called um, the Eastern world and the Western world is a very negative one uh, that has a lot of judgment and has, has a lot of misunderstanding. I see that their relationship, these two worlds, if you want to say, or two parts of the world, uh, as a negative one because you can see all the wars that's going on between them and all this misconfusion that happens all the time between the West and the East or the judgments, the stereotypical ideas that they give for each other and you can see them backfire all the time on people. You can see it on the internet, in books, and ideas and it makes me really upset because they don't really understand each other and the only way that I see how they react makes me think that they really don't understand. They really don't know each other. Uh, well, I feel very upset about that. Um, and a little angry, too. Disappointed, even. I think that the Western person or, or that area or field or whatever you want to call it, um, it comes where they're oppressors most of the time. They're people with preconceived notions and judgment. And they come in that role with very high, or what's so-called high morals and kind of in that chair that I'm better, that I'm good and you're not. And they're already having all these ideas in their mind, like these preconceived notions, like I said, about everything else in the world besides themselves and which makes them kind of ignorant I actually kind of feel sometimes stuck about this I really don't feel like I don't know exactly where I belong when it comes to this relationship between Eastern and Western world because I grew up in the Eastern world if you want to call it or part of the world with Western ideas and whenever I travel in between them. Uh, I'm a Western person and then I don't belong or vice versa. And so I kind of stick out between them. That's how I feel most of the time. To change, to change people's views, uh, whether it was from the West towards the East or vice versa, um, through dialogue, through the, when you come in a room and you don't have preconceived notions, that you don't have those stereotypical things in your, uh, images in your mind about that other person, if you hold in yourself the understanding and the content that you have towards others, if you accept them for who they are and you think that you're not better than that person, I think then you do reach a point where you understand them, you know them, and that means that you don't fear them or you don't hate them. And so this whole relationship of somebody using the other and having this negative toll on people and the world and everyday life will change.